40 plus ships. U boats are real slow when they're submerged, so we do our best to make them die. On the surface, they're fast enough to get into a good firing position. If we can keep them down, the convoy has to bump into them for the crops to get a torpedo off. Blimps follow us up the coast. They just blaze along above us like bad angels. No sub can run on the surface while a blimp is providing air cover, and no ship has ever been torpedoed when one of them is overhead. When we headed east out to sea, the blimps were replaced by patrol planes. But sooner or later, we would be beyond the range of land-based air. The Germans put out picket lines of submarines to locate our convoy. When one spotted us, instead of attacking, the sub would send out a position by radio. In no time, the other members of the scouting line would head for the shadow of Nubo and form a wolf pack. Then the pack would try to attack from all directions at once and overwhelm the escort. German radio messages were picked up by the direction finding equipment of the escort and of 10th Fleet, which helped locate the gathering pack. 10th Fleet had no ships and never went to sea, but without them we'd have been in real trouble. 10th Fleet gathered information about wolf packs from aircraft sightings, pack reports, and radio intelligence, and then tried to route the convoy away from concentration. The weather was never right for us. Clear days made it too easy to spot our smoke. At night, the Germans operated on the surface like high-speed torpedo boats, and we couldn't see them. In fog, we were hidden, but we had to slow up, and no one wanted to be out there a second longer than we had to be. Storms made it harder for the U-boats to attack, but the speed of the convoy was reduced, so it was a no-win situation. It was important to prevent ships from straggling. Still, ships had engine problems or other troubles that meant dropping out of the convoy. We felt that straggling at night was a death of It was always a sub shadow in that, acting as a beacon to the outer world. The merchant sailors who manned the tankers were the bravest men of the sea, or the craziest. The ships were prime targets and were floating bombs. When they got hit, the men had a choice of drowning or burning. Fire on the rise and told us to be killing them in the ground. There were no other attacks that night. This didn't mean that the convoy had lost its pursuer. The U boats had simply used their superior speed on the surface to get ahead into a quick position to make submerged daylight. Suddenly, torpedo tracks were spotted in what seemed like every time. Gaps were ripped in the border column of the convoy. Some ships stagger when hit and manage to limp on, and some explode and simply disappear. Others take time to die.